Kobos and I are on our way to Blue Grotto to do doubles training. We are all kitted up in our scuba do rag. What's up guys, I'm Petty Mayo. Today we're diving with alligators. How's training day? It's tiring. Time to go back to the wife. Back home here in Fort Lauderdale. This is just the rental house that we all stay in for production. All this stuff has got to go in the next like three days. Because we're leaving, so we can't take nine cars with us. So I decided that we should trade all the Tauruses, your Tahoe and Harvey's Tahoe. They're going to take all the cars and give us that. 2021 Tahoe four wheel drive blue. Oh my God. Straight out of night. We don't have a week to get out of it. We have like today and tomorrow to get all the stuff out of the house. This house is gone, folks. On the road again. Harvey showed up after noon again. What? What the f When you get a broom? Sure. I have to clean up some stuff. He dropped his microwave dish on his Furion. So before we left, I took the microwave. Oh no. Oh yeah, look at that. It broke the top. It's in here somewhere. I need to put this kitty litter robot in the RV. Maybe on the ground and pull that way. Where do you pull that way? Oh, those nuts. One, two, two three. Ah! You good? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. What is this thing, 120 pounds? It's in there. Woo! You like that it. was heavy. Growing. Sit on it. It's magical. Uno just started cracking his eyes open. Uno, where are you going, bub? He's trying to get out. Let's <laughs> say hi. Or he's making him scent track. Oh, look at those eyes. Oh my god. He doesn't have little friends to play with, so we gotta like imitate him playing with his friends. Oh, his little eyes are open. Oh my god, you can see. Oh my god, his eyes are really open. Yeah. Uno. Uno. <laughs> He's walking. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, hi my boy. <laughs> Grab the little, the ear. Oh yeah, it gets perfect. Oh, oh. Good boy. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. Kobos, he's starting to play. Oh, look at his boy. <laughs> Kobos, your little boy's opening his eyes. What do you think? Go to just look up We Roll trailers. We need a trailer that has power in it and connect with the Super C, so we can have a washer and dryer. And so it, is our travel trailer. Yeah. What do we got going on, Patrick? We got the We Roll trailer, and right now we're gonna put a uh, GE washer dryer because we need to be able to wash our clothes on the road. We've never done any of this. I just go into everything like I've done it before. What's the plan, Stan? To get this trailer out of the sun first. Into the, into the shade. Bam, 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 bam. She wanna flick for the ground. Go ask that boot, that's who I am. So she wanna check this beat, you on cam. Like, hold up. She wanna swallow this pull up. Soon as I bust, I'm a roll up. Full lines are better, I pull up. What are you doing, Trevor? Sorry to get everything ready. Come with me. Let me show you this. Picked up a Blackstone flat grill. Super excited, actually, about this one. This big flat cooktop. Here's the menu. Spare tire. Great to have. Oh. Oh. Did you hear that? I pushed so hard I farted. 
you know Harvey sold me on this? He said we should get the one with wheels so that if we ask him for something, he can bring multiple things without having to run back and forth. And I said, yes, that's why we're getting this one. Definitely an RV washing machine, guys. A little, little blue mood for the for washing. Amazon Christmas in the Mayo household, which is typical almost every morning. About 12 Amazon packages show up. What is it? Oh, it's not that exciting. We're gonna find out if that's, uh, if that's gonna work. Oh my God, it's a box in a box. A collapsible puppy crate. Yeah, baby. Ready for this? What's up? What are you doing? We are, Trevor's getting the Starlink out of the uh, Crown Vic, the Ford Taurus, because Harvey ran over the other one. So thankfully we're like weird people, so we have six more. They're just attached to six cars that we don't drive. Um, other than that, <laughs> just looking for stuff that we're missing, really. I can't think of anything else in here that I want. You probably don't need it. Ugh. Just, you know, doing the last wrap up stuff. Ready to get on the road tomorrow, baby. Ready to hit it and quit it. Let's get in the RV and shit it. Gotta flush the blue goo tomorrow, too, because I forgot to put the blue goo when I already did poo poo, so. If you want that number two not to stink a roo, you're gonna have to. Put the goo on the poo. They're all in the poo. Baby, you know, do, 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 baby. Oh yeah, get that. Yeah, get it. You get it. Just like, get it. Get it. Strong, huh? You strong. Get it. The cutest. The cutest. The cutest. I know she's not in the photo. Kobos, what do you think about your new son? Is he growing up good? Is he everything you expected? You did get a little scared of him earlier. <laughs> Kobos, earlier, I was holding the puppy up and he gave him a little, well, the puppy gave Kobos a little, just, a, you know, because he's not very strong at all. And Kobos, like, ran and right to his, right to his spot because he's such a good boy. He doesn't want to make any wrong move. What are you doing, little man? What is that tongue out? What is that tongue doing? <laughs> yeah, he has a little leg going. That's so cute. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that is your good bubba. Yeah. All right. Is the paper there or is it not there? Well, Throw, you have to look through the car with wife eyes. Do you know what that means? Uh, it says Florida trailer registry. Got it. Got him. Woohoo! I have some news. What? Harvey made it to the keys. Oh, nice. Was it there? Nope. What? No. It wasn't there? Nope. It's not in the car? Nope. Are you serious? No, it's there.
Thank God. He got both pieces of paper. Oh, God. Nice. Anything else from the edge? Uh. That's it. It's Monday, October 30th, and it's the day, ladies and gentlemen, we're leaving this house. It's it's over. So I've got my wife and all the dogs and cats and uh, staplers back, and it's ready to go. And I'm super excited. If you haven't figured it out by now, this is not like a temporary road trip. It's a permanent road trip. So just you're gonna follow along for the story. I'm working on a website in the back end so you can actually see like the highlights and things that happen on a daily basis. So you know if you don't have the chance to watch, you know, an episode you miss, because we're gonna be putting out one about every two days. Buckle up. Here we go. the road and in north i've got the next 11 days already booked out for us between uh blue grotto devil's den at one point we're swimming with manatees diving with manatees uh, there's a lot of stuff and right now this is the first time taking this trailer on the highway behind this rig so we're gonna see how she does our goal is 60 65. Pretty, pretty good here okay. popped off which side, the left or the right? Driver's side. Oh, those are the heavy tubs too. Okay, I'll pull off. Thank you. Oh, a little minor off road. Whoa, whoa, yo, you. We go fix this. Stopping to get some food. That's the pump I need. Genius. Did I not tell you what was exactly gonna happen right there? I said he's gonna come around, go to the only diesel pump that I can get in, and then I'm gonna have to beep at him. And I did, and he got his ass out of the way. All right, let's go find out what's going on here. I don't know what's going on, dude. We have no fridge, no AC though. I think it flipped, let's see. We're good. Thanks. Thanks, Colton at La Mesa RV. By the way, I want to tell you guys something. If you buy an RV, once you take it off the lot, I want to remember one thing. You don't even have time to bring it back. What do you do, stay in a hotel? You're going to learn to fix everything yourself. All the videos of people that have problems. I had to wait so long to get my blah, blah, blah in, and it took so long to fix, and I didn't even do it right. Just do, do it your damn, damn self. self. You have an hour and 10 minutes left. Yep. Almost there. Now. Oh my god. How is it on the road? Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no windows. This is what Cobos does at night. Oh, he touched me right in the face. Ah! 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 <laughs> <Shmaga. laughs> <laughs> I'm just holding his head to smack me. Oh, like that. It's life. 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 All right, it's time for end of the day. Thoughts with Mayo. Did you know that there's more to life than just kicking doors in? No, there's not really. You're right. No, kicking doors is super fun. It's my favorite hobby. But I don't got any plans. Zero plans, my guy. I got plans to go cave diving tomorrow. I got plans to get Raven and Kristen in the water tomorrow. That's gonna be fun. They're gonna have a lot of fun tomorrow. Moved out of the Fort Lauderdale house. Well, we did like 180 episodes in the last year, which is exhausting. exhausting. <sighs> That's all I have to say for tonight. We'll see you in the morning, which is like one second from now. So Kristen is a open water certified scuba diver. I'm not a certified instructor. I'm a rescue diver, so I am qualified to make sure she gets her, her stuff done right. So if she hasn't been in the water for a little bit, we're gonna make sure that she can take her masks off, do some signaling, replace your regulator, lose your regulator, all that stuff. It's a new environment, it's gonna be a fun environment. 
Nice. We're gonna go down to like the 20 foot platform, 30 foot platform, do some stuff there. Once you're comfortable there, we'll go over to the diving bell. We'll check the diving bell out and then we will uh, do a little circle around and return. If anything happens to his wife, I'm gonna need a, a houseboat, you have a, mobile a plane. Plane. Yeah, he's got the same one, same speed. I need a mechanic and a guy with a weapon. And some good jujitsu. I can run faster than you, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell everybody what happens at your shoulder? Because they keep asking me, what's up with this shoulder? What happened to Trevor's shoulder? It's good. We're, we're what's paying. going on to Trevor's shoulder? Good. It's good. It's, it's good. good. Everything's good. It's good. No cap. Yeah, cue the the bubbly sound music. Let's do that. Throw that in the overlay. Okay, fill the water up to about here. Awesome. And now we're... I panicked a little bit in the beginning. It's been a while since I've been in the water scuba diving. But for me, my biggest thing is when you, I breathe into the regulator, I feel like I can't get a breath and it's a different way to breathe. And then that's what makes me panic. How was your instructor? I think she was asking. <laughs> he was good. Pat is actually uh, a really good instructor. Uh, oh, shucks. shucks. When it comes to scuba. Well, it takes He's a good very student. Patient. We had some problems equalizing, so we just kind of leveled our way down a little bit. We got down to about 20 feet, so I'm not uh, Virgil the turtle. We did. Explored around, around, around a little bit. And anybody that wants to learn to dive, it's truly amazing, but you don't want to panic underwater because you'll die. Because then what happened? Patty grabs your shit and brings you down again. We had a moment. Had a moment. <laughs> was, One small moment. She had a moment. Where I tried to go to the top. She tried to shoot on and me. And he went, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you guys doing now? I'm gonna I'm put my reel on because gonna we're up. gonna do hood, hood rat, rat shit, shit with our, our friend. friend. So we're doing the safest thing humanly possible. No, we're not doing dangerous ass. We're going, I'm gonna bring Trevor in this hole that I went in, I silted myself in, but it's fine, we have guidelines. It's so much fun, I'm gonna bring Trevor. Trevor has actually never penetrated. <laughs> He's never penetrated. Babe. Yeah. Tell him, deep. Uh. Deep penetration, <laughs> Danny dive deep. Bye y'all. See you soon.
How was it? Oh, it was great. We actually planned the dive for Manatee and then realized when we were down there at the Reaper sign that we were at Blue Grotto. The cave here is on the other side. We had a lot of fun in the cavern section. We'll redouble up tomorrow and we'll go down to a different section. Gonna hold short. of you guys have been asking on community posts uh, and everywhere where comments are actually turned on why all the comments are turned off and the simple answer is no benefit of the comment section other than it's like a place for scammers to just try to impersonate me and scam viewers so it's off except for if you come into a premiere uh, you can live chat and your live chat replays there that's where we chat if you guys get other questions that you want answered just ask them during a premiere which is right now every couple days. And then in December, we're gonna go down to like 11 videos a month. I'm contracted to that many number of videos, which is I would just take a break, take like two months off, but I can't contractually. We're in a, we're new, in a new era, era, which is fine. I like making videos. Tomorrow we're gonna get up, do Raven's dive. Then uh, Trevor and I are gonna go do a dive and then, or maybe Trevor and I will do a dive. I completely forgot that we start diving, we're cave diving with Cam tomorrow. Raven's taking care of Uno in the morning. We just woke up. Kobos is excited. He already played with his ball. And we're getting ready to go over to Manatee Springs. I whispered it because the people next door really wanted to know where we were going next. And I, I didn't really want to tell them. So, going there, meeting up with Cam, doing the thing, doing some cave diving, doing some hood rat shit with my friends. But I'll show you what hood rat shit means when we get under the water. Love driving this rig. I absolutely love driving this rig. It just feels just long and beefy and girthy and important. And responsibility comes with this truck. Look at the lives. You know, it's like driving a, an 18-wheeler, except this is an eight-wheeler. 
One day, I'll probably have an 18 wheeler drive like a full big rig around. Who knows? Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, is that a, look at it, it's a mobile Chick-fil-A. What? Oh, wow, that's the kind of trolla we need. Let's just go hook up to, oh my God, a Lamborghini? Where are we? Where there's a mobile Chick-fil-A, a Lamborghini, and right next to a place called Kangaroo Express. Are we in Australia? Oh, babe, brought us across the pond to Australia. It's kangaroos everywhere. I know what to do, I punched them in the face, yeah, mate? This is like a communist country. I don't know if you can film here, babe. Ice Poseidon had all, all sorts of problems in Australia. I mean, sure, he's a douchebag, but even he had problems that people were like, ooh, ooh, maybe not. And when you're on Ice Poseidon's side, if you know and you emotionally support Ice Poseidon, you're like, that other person's a real bag, mate. Can you imagine? feeling bad for Sam Pepper. You've got to be a real c to make somebody feel bad for Sam Pepper. Where are we at? We are at Manatee Springs State Park where we are going to go dive in a cave. An actual cave. Diving scary caves. I'm going to penetrate further than I penetrated before. Major, Major penetration. penetration. Whatever. Enter in the one way, whatever. The maps and the website don't exactly have correct numbers. Where the F are the numbers? Oh, they're facing the other way because we came down the wrong way. 34. There it is. How the F am I going to fit in that? Hey, boy. plan right now is to uh, continue our cave training with Cam. I'm going to grab the GoPro. Trevor and I are going to go down, uh, do some line drills, some buoyancy drills, some kick drills. Then uh, later I'm going to get Raven down there and then Trevor and I are going to go into a cave that we've been exploring a little bit here and there. Point of all this is to get cave certified obviously and then the point of that is to use those skills and certifications as a way to make money. I guess in watching these videos you guys can see a little bit of the process of what it might take and what the yield might be at the end, what the results might be at the end of how you can make money with a cave diving certification. And cool part of the series is you guys can watch and, and learn of different ways that uh, I've made money throughout the years and continue to support myself, my family and other families with this little company we have. Nestled in Florida's verdant landscape lies Manatee Springs State Park, home to the Catfish Hotel, a unique underwater retreat. This sinkhole is a sanctuary for catfish, named for its popular aquatic residence. The convergence of pure spring water with the Sewanee River's tannic flow creates a distinct interplay of hues, with peat moss blanketing the surface, hinting at the passage of time through its accumulation. How was it? <clears throat> we just did some basic training stuff. Not a lot of fun things today, but tomorrow's gonna be fun because we finished my intro to tech, which means start caving. I got some news for you. What? There's a leak in the bathroom. What? It's coming from the bottom of the sink. It's just coming from the sink? From the floor. From the floor? Like up? It's not coming from underneath the sink. Well, how bad is it? It's a slow leak. Okay, well, how much water have you picked up? Uh, a couple of paper towels. Oh, it's probably just from when I filled the tanks. Overfill? Yeah. Oh, look at that hair. Is that Maybelline? Look at Nah, this is a uh, Moroccan oil, dude. This is the Moroccan. Wow. Luscious and beautiful. Moroccan. The moss barrier, while marking the divide between air and water, also serves as a living record of ecological change. Beneath, the limestone's rugged face tells tales of an ancient earth, with nooks cradling elusive creatures like the softshell turtle, a silent navigator of this submerged maze. 
Divers, like Patty and Trevor, enter this realm to refine their skills in buoyancy and navigation. Their presence a gentle ripple in the serene world of the Catfish Hotel. Each descent is not just a dive, but a lesson in the fragility of this complex aquatic system. These springs, while enchanting, hold the key to understanding Florida's delicate aquifer, making every venture a step towards conservation. Through their journey, we witness the symbiosis of humanity and habitat, a reminder that beneath the surface rests a delicate web of life. The story here is not just one of exploration, but of the intrinsic value of these waters and their call to be protected. At Manatee Springs, in the hush of the underwater ballet, divers are not just visitors, but guardians, learning to preserve the beauty and sanctity of this hidden world for the generations yet to dive. Do we look cooler? You know why? <laughs> We're certified tech divers. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's not like this is like the best thing ever. <laughs> it's like, that's normal. <laughs> I mean, cause that's normal. How was it? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we did cool stuff. <laughs> Went to the 100 line mark. 100 yard mark, 100, 100. foot mark. Yeah. So you're officially certified oh. diver? No. Tech diver. Tech diver. Oh. Tech divers. What's the difference? Next step. Next step is, where's cave. cave? We went in caves to get the tech. Oh, and then we did a blackout drill, and it was great because a rock came loose. He's blacked out, I'm blacked out. We get, and then we're on the slack line, and so we're doing the bump and go. But then we got the line got so f I'm grabbing onto his leg, and we're shoving him out of the cave so he knows I'm behind him. And we were both inflated, so we both got ass over tea kettle shot out of the cave. <laughs> well, because he put the blackout mask on me, so I couldn't. I couldn't see anything, and I was in the front, so all I could do was hold on to the line and try to get us out. Oh, we're just going through dark. <laughs> so was it just a rock from the cave? No, it was, it was like sitting on a shelf, uh -huh. and we had we, used it as a placement, and we bumped it on the way out or something, and it fell How into big the was abyss. It? Oh shit! Well, I can switch to the aluminums and just throw some weight pockets on my belt. I'll fight through the trim. Yeah, I would know. rather get the full dive in than cut a dive short. I don't really know what's going on. They're just talking about your stuff. There's <laughs> math going on. Yeah, they're doing math. I don't Is know. Is it tile math? Because we'll never figure this out. Why do all my teachers always make me do math? I have a calculator. Huh? They haven't been The 80s have 30% more gas on them right now than those that you can't Huh? Anything else to say before you go cave diving Holy again? Uh, I like turtles. And I saw one. Oh, we saw a little baby. Little baby Soft shell. This big. What? Yeah, he was like this big around. I'll blow chicken tenders and some tater tots, bro. You want to come to? You want to come hang out? Why don't you have a seat right over there, please? Do you have any corn dogs? I do got corn dogs. I might come over later. The Nathan, the Nathan corn dogs. Is that how you get your girls to your trailer? Dogs? Yeah, man. Mini corn dogs. They're not. I don't know why you're saying they're small, brother. Those are pretty big corn dogs. Can't even put two of them in your mouth. Ladies, Harvey is single. I don't know. You're not a single? I don't know. I don't know what the <laughs> I am, honestly. Emotionally distressed. That's what, <laughs> that's, <laughs> if that's the thing. Emotionally unavailable, <laughs> Emotion physically down. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> if you're in the Gainesville area, hit me up. I'm here. This is Gainesville? I, some, close by. I'm not going to give the exact area. Nice <laughs> hey, UF is there. The University of Florida, my guy. Lady. Oh, no, not me. <laughs> Lady. I'm definitely not he, single. I am definitely not single. Harvey <laughs> is. Somewhat. <laughs> Uno. He's walking. Oh, boy. Uno. I'm fine, Mom. <laughs> Like, give me some food. Go to the sign, do a secondary on the sign, then hand me the reel. Because I want to do a better placement because we're going to do another zero vis exit. You can't place it on that same rock. That rock is gone. It's going to be it dropped much in. lower. Yeah, it's way down there. You probably put it back. That's the mission. We're going to go put it back. We're going to swim the rock back up and yeah. place it. That's the mission. That's what do you think of that? Yeah, no, we're not going to put on that rock no more. So You can't. How come? Oh, we can do it. This. I got rocks on the floor. I'll fucking it. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a hot shower to get in this. I just put my what shoe are you gonna on. Do? I'm gonna put my suit on while I'm in there. Why do I have to pee again? I peed twice in the water. I try to only pee when I'm the first man out. Because of the flow. <laughs> if you're peeing and you're the last man, it's gonna shoot towards everybody. <laughs> it was like, whew, a little thermal came through. Do you well, guys that feel, was warm. What was that? Do you guys that? feel that thermal? It's like the high desert. Wait, why is there a fire truck? It was like a rescue truck that just came like, like a dive type truck. It was the box type fire truck with the get like dive gear. It would be like right a rescue. There. Another one? Oh, and an ambulance. Should we take it on the bikes? Make sure everything's okay. 
Where are they? Oh, I see the lights. Yeah, I see right here. Oh, they're coming in oh, here. They're coming in here. They're looking for three teenagers <laughs> on e-bikes. What are you doing there, Patrick? Building the fire pit, making my uh, my entrance. A warming zone. A lot yep. of people don't know this about Pat, but he's actually a really good builder of fires. Thank you, I appreciate that. So are arsons. Shut up. No, they make uncontrolled fires. I make controlled fires. I just put all the wood in one spot and it, was, it got a fire. Nope. It did? That's not how you do it. Well, I did it. You make fire? I make fire. A caveman. Yeah, it's a good fire. A few moments later. What's going on here, babe? I was blowing my fire for the camera and I over blew it. My hole hasn't collapsed yet, so it's still good. Now you gotta get your dive. You can play with fire later. I'm building this for the dive. Patrick. Yeah. It's past 4.30. Come on, you gotta go. Go get ready, please. Thank you. It's moving. What? It's coming, come on. What? Everyone's waiting for you. What's coming? You. I'm wet. <laughs> Where are my new tanks? Right there. Are they already on it? No, I was Better hurry up, everyone's waiting. On you. I have no idea. <laughs> when was I shit talking your real skills? Because my placement popped off. <laughs> I thought you were just trying to you're set like, us up for failure. Like the real man sucked today. <laughs> you're saying someone might have set us up for failure. The real man was a real pain in the ass. <laughs> someone was setting us on the no viz fucking exit with the placement on the softest rock known to man in the cave. He was like, what rock would possibly I, never I, hold this string? The, the big, because it's a big boulder, right? Yeah. Still not serious yeah. when I bring out the KO one. I'm only rocking 2700, just so everybody knows. I'm rocking 26. You ready? Yep. Any last words for you to say for well, your fans? Those are cold. Last words? No! <laughs> like before you go die. All right, uh, thumb in the dive. <laughs> strike, strike one, we need two more. <laughs> what about the O-ring? Well, the O-ring, that's two. Man, one more. Are we really down to one? Tell Kobo to take mine out of my hand, that'd be three. Does that count? <laughs> huh? No, I'm just fucking even. I start counting strikes when we're like in the water, oh. and we're ready to go, and the shit starts not failing. When, not when your wife says, any last words? Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> that doesn't count. Any last words. She's like, hey, Pat, where'd you put the football? Did you have any last words? <laughs> <laughs> Let's think about what I told you, told you earlier, baby. You don't love me? That's not what I said. <laughs> you find it hard to love me now? No. Hey, Armadillo. You have chlamydia and leprosy. I'm Patty Mayo. I don't have either. I went to I uh, went to the 100 foot mark inside the cave. It was fun. A good time. Where are we going tomorrow? <laughs> Orange Grove. Little river or something. Going somewhere. We're no. not going nowhere. Now it's time to get warm. The struggle looks real, hun. It is. Two wetsuits because the dive is cold. I, know it's cold I will, yeah. I've done it. Just not for that camera. <laughs> <laughs> I only do it for old creeps. They pay me good. Y'all thought that was YouTube money. Dumbasses. <laughs> Where'd you disappear? You got any of those sticks? I've had a disaster. You've had a disaster? Yeah, my black water broke. What? What do you mean broke? Yeah, so uh, next door neighbor sees me, got down on the floor with me, got pliers, we were able to put it back in. I got on the phone with Scott. So I used your bathroom to poop some peace. There's a bathroom right there. No, I used your bathroom to poop some peace. Oh, no, 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 there's no. a bathroom right across the no, street. No, 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 oh, you can look oh, no. at my contract. And my contract says I only poop some peas inside your train. You don't have a contract. I do have three. Two of them in Spanish, you don't understand. Yeah. How are you cleaning? You've been here 12 hours. I was cleaning that. Is it the poops everywhere? You mean poops everywhere? <laughs> the poops <laughs> everywhere. No, I'm, everywhere. No, I'm fucking with you. No. You oh would break the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even break the toilet. I broke the plumbing. You pooped that hard. <laughs> that was me. It's not the first yeah, time. both wives are laughing. <laughs> That's how you cook a wiener? Is that a you question or a statement? You said it and forget it. How many times have you done this? First time, baby. Like a pro. Hot dog master of the universe. Have you ever cooked anything on a fire before? Not not like this, not a campfire. Just a marshmallow? Yeah. This is weed and fuse off. Harvey, if I was a marshmallow, what would you how would you talk shit to me? I wouldn't. I would be nice to you so I could get close and say take a bite. Wow. Okay, let's do this, bro. This has cheese inside of it, so it's like oozing shit out of it. This is not appetizing right now. Look at the tip right there. Uh, what? <laughs> what? What? What are you doing to my video? Something's coming out of it. This is this is not a normal hot dog. Yeah, they, everyone saw it just perfect. Jeez. It has a little chlamydia. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> it literally looks like you already took a bite, Harvey. I did take a bite. Oh, well, how is it? Quack. Delicious. Dude, Cam's rubbing his on mine. Guys, no rubbing your wieners together. Oh, that's perfect. So that's drink. how you cook a hot dog, my friend. Why do you guys keep getting so close to the camera like I have a micro lens on? I'm saying, look, it's like perfectly burnt on top, but not actually, on the side. Actually, you actually put it in focus. Harvey was like shoving it in the camera's lens. If Danny would have been here, she would have been double fisting wiener too. But she's not. Lose a cat, dude, lose your life. No, lose a The other wiener. The other wiener. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Harvey, you're on fire! Kinda looks like you're on fire from this angle. I should do the Ricky Bobby. Oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! You should. No, you're not Ricky Bobby! Killer Miller getting in on that wiener action. You know it. The girls know the way around the wiener. Watch your fucking face. Whoa! Whoa! Why? Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> What? It's a hot dog. What are you talking about? You know the way around hot dogs. Look, she got some fucking professional. Oh, you talking about food? Yeah, because oh. she made a fucking perfect hot dog and she comes in with the boom. I thought you were talking that she knows how to work her way around it. No, we've been talking shit this whole time. And I've crossed the line all of a sudden. All of a sudden. Whoa, canceled. Can cross the line. Yeah, fucking. Yo, wiener sucking. Me, Trevor, bitch. what are you gonna do? You called your wife a wiener you know sucking. What? I'm glad you can't poop in your camper tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Let me inspect this. What is on it? What did you put on it? Mustard. What's that other stuff? Nothing. It's just like the char grill. It's not really like done inside 100%. What the fuck is that? It's like an inch. <laughs> Take the whole thing. Wait, you can't have this. It's chocolate. This is nonsense. This is what people want to see me eating a cupcake. What's up, guys? I'm Patty Mayo, and I'm just like you. I eat cupcakes. Look at me. I'm a superhuman eating a cupcake. Because I'm on YouTube. Huh. I don't know what to do. He's like, well, you better wake him. I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to wake him? He just fucking told me. Fuck it. Day's ruined. Like, Went back to five minutes later. I look outside. Pat's walking around smoking. <laughs> Why can't you guys capture this shit? <laughs> <laughs> this is like funny shit. It would be awesome. You want to tell the editor something? What's up with that edit, bro? I got to make my face all look, bro. There's two possibilities. So you go to his bedroom window, you knock the window, and it's one of two things. You're either gonna get, yep, I'm up, I'm ready, okay, I understand the plan, copy, let's go. Or it's, huh, why are you waking me up? What time is it? Seriously? <laughs> These two would have been up. There's no way they're not gonna see a bear and they're not gonna be like, yo, I want that shit. No. If they were That's tripping That's the up, reputation we have? What? We see yeah, a bear and we go, yo, I want that shit. <laughs> I'm saying the dogs. Oh. <laughs> we don't have a dog behind us. <laughs> talking about us. No point have the I dogs. ever given off the energy that I want to fight a bear. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. The dogs will want to fight the bear. The dogs will be <laughs> dying. Yeah, but you said the these two, and it looked like you these pointed two. at us. Yeah, no, like you're pointing at us. No. What? Boom. Boom. Those two. First, you roast the Malo. Oh, shit. It looks like Anakin Skywalker. Ah, I heard you. Okay. That's actually really great. He likes that shit burnt as fuck. I like my marshmallows like I like my women. Black on the outside, white on the inside. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I like a little bit of both worlds. <laughs> little chocolate sundae. You want a little chocolate sundae? <laughs> oh my god! Skill. That was Look at her. skill right good. there. Are you yes. kidding me? Ooh, it's skill. It's not appetizing still, but it's skill. Look at that. I dare you to eat that near a piece of poop. <laughs> oh, perfecto. Hurry. Yeah. It looks like a pair of nuts. <laughs> golden nuts. Look at these golden nuts. Don't put your nuts in my face, man. <laughs> Was that intentional? No, but it came out fucking perfect. Look at that shit. Y'all even know how to make marshmallows. Y'all have some strokes. You gonna show them how it's done? Let the flame climb. Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh. Almost ready. Look at that shit. Well, you keep swinging it around like oh, a... honey, I gotta actually cook <laughs> Like a maniac. <laughs> I'm cooking my marshmallow. I don't, I've never seen someone cook a marshmallow <laughs> like that in my life. Burn the shit out of it. That's how I eat them. They're amazing this way. Yeah. Way more flavor. And the inside is all nice and melted. Watch this. Almost done with it. <laughs> See that? That looks <laughs> disgusting, honey. 
Chocolate gum. <laughs> he said mine looked like a piece of poop. <laughs> When's the last time you had a piece of poop that black and dark? Put the exactly. I didn't Just say yours looked like. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectum. Ooh, finger looking good. Perfectum. What are you doing? Get inside, it's cold, woman. I don't think you'll ever be so happy again to see him poop on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> this might get disrespectful after the video. <laughs> you get that? No. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, I couldn't uh, pre-stage for you falling down a hill. So this is a souvenir of surviving. Damn. So yeah. This is going to be a really interesting diet. Nighttime, unexplored cave. Let's do this.